how suspended EFCC boss spent $300,000 on his wife, kids, and family members in 10 days. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. According to a video online, a reporter reported how Mr. Bauer spent $300,000 in Mecca with his wife, kids, parents, and other family members while they remained in a hotel within just 10 days around a month ago. Many people are mystified as to how the former head of the EFCC could have possibly afforded such an outrageous sum without batting an eyelid. The reason for this is that many people regard the EFCC to be an organization that frowns upon theft of public funds and poor management of such funds. You may remember that not too long ago, President Bola Metinumbu of Nigeria suspended the head of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC boss, due to allegation of abuse of authority. Also, this occurrence has attracted various views from people. For instance, um, a popular blogger known as Today Ed Ednot, a well-known celebrity blogger and an influential figure on Instagram, has shared his thoughts in response to a video of Abdul Rashid Bawa, a former chairman of the EFCC that has gone viral on multiple social media sites. Paraphrasing what he wrote, he said, $300,000 equals 223 million naira. Just wow. Hmm. So with this, now, of course, a lot of Nigerians have shared their comments on this. Um, as, you know, you, I will implore you to watch the video of where um, the it was said, it was alleged online. Somebody made a comment to say that, I thank God for six feet because not only for poor people, now every one of us go leave this world. Another person said, God punish all of you, still no money to pay subsidy, despite all this waste. Another said, there will never be money for the poor in this country. Anytime they see the poor, they only think of suffering, disease, hunger and death. Another said, now nah, rain thief to be head of this kind of organization. i sorry for now. Bawa, you be another big thief and robber, we get innocent face. Another said, Niger, I fear now, but I know just feel wrong. Another said the new permanent attorney, attorney general should be Igbo, also the permanent EFCC chairman. Uh, another said, what do, you, what do you think when the president is just there not minding who he appoints? It's a pity. Another said, if you ask me, they have got nothing on this guy. His only offense was supporting his boss. Buhari's Naira redesign. Another said, Bawa, na real time. Robber, where people of Nigeria no take notes in time. Another said, Buhari's administration is the most corrupt administration in the history of Nigeria. The masses are suffering while his appointees are busy looting our treasury. Bawa doesn't know anything. He was brought by Malami to cover their looting because Magu refused to cooperate. He brought his boy Bawa. Another said, Yao boys must hear this and Apostle Buhari must also take notes. Another said, look at him, innocent face, as if he cannot chop meat. Another said, I be this man, EFCC guy, the Christo. Another said, who is pure among the old force, an agency of government? Another said, it's unfortunate that Mr. Integrity closed his eyes willfully and deliberately, allowed himself to become a mindless looter. Nigerians thought he would be in charge, but astonishingly, he disappointed the hope in him and his government was completely hijacked by late Kiari Daura Malami ETC, dictating all the cap feats in appointments. No wonder they became restless when Oshibajo dislodged their antics during his one month on the saddle by breathing life into the Nigerian system. Another person said, so now tell me, how much is his salary? How did he make $300,000? That can be lavished like that. Nigeria, hmm, I don't see the highest come. Another said, very unfortunate, wrong people in underserved positions, corruption everywhere. No integrity, no honesty and sincerity. See where we found ourselves today. And certain peoples of part of our country believes in occupying those vibrant positions for bad agenda. Another said, when exactly are we going to have a saint in government? Even the new list of ministers underway will still be same story. 
God, please have mercy on this country. What will government do to people like Bawa and others? Absolutely nothing. And as I said, what do you expect when you give power to any how person? What do you expect? And as I said, these people stealing our money and go to mosque and church to pray. Is it that they regard stealing public funds as no stealing? And as I said, young Oli, Fulani has killed the country. And as I said, we are in serious trouble in this country. A small boy like this is even more greedy than our old government officials. One thing is very sure, all Safulanis are very corrupt. Some of them just check out how they have ruined the country. Another said, what kind of country are we? Just a small boy spending such money without even fears because he give, is given opportunities to oversee a public department. Abamana. Another said, every day, then they arrest Yahoo boys while the chief of Yahoo is the EFC chairman himself. Another said, Nigerian system criminals managing affairs of country anti-graft agency this is a small one only god knows the havoc this baba must have caused to this country another said where do they want him to spend the money before on animals another said i just wish and pray if Tinubu wants to appoint a permanent efc chairman and head of security should be able so that all the stupid cabals will be exposed hmm. another said this efcc central bank governor former attorney general should be Subjected to life in prison. Another said, full and ease cost peop people. Okay, I would rather not take that. Another said, Nigeria is gone under full and ease government. Okay, so these are, and many more comments, are the comments that trailed the allegation that um, the suspended EFCC boss spent $300,000 on his wife, kids, Family members in 10 days in Mecca. Mm. What's your opinion? This is actually quite frightening um, that an innocent person, innocent looking person, I beg your pardon, like the EFCC chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa, could be involved in something like this. Like I said earlier, take your time to, you know, what the video as alleged by, you know, the official who decided to bring this to light. What's your opinion on this? Kindly share your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. May we not lose faith in our dear country, Nigeria. May our country work again. May God give us leaders with the heart of flesh, not the heart of stone. Who will not just be after their own pockets, but after making impacts and making life bearable and um, conducive for the general and interest of other nigerians may god bless nigeria see you in the next news bye for now